previously on Sam and Max. Hello. This game really is yes. a cartoon. I love it. Great gouts of steaming magma on a beeline for the orphanage. We're on our way. Yeah! <laughs> Ow! Where's the rat? I let him go. Who was on the phone? It was a commissioner, Max. Multiple reports of malfeasance the in the neighborhood. Oh, joy! That's my second favorite feasance! Idiot. We've got to get down to the corner store right away. <sighs> got an itch. Have no fear, simple citizens. The freelance police are here to keep the peace. Violently, if possible, you called. It's just you two? Where's the SWAT team? Where's the National Guard? Where's NASA? NASA? Hold on, Bosco. What's the problem? What's the problem? It's a terrorist! A munchkin terrorist! He'll be the death of us all! Oh yeah, they changed... They changed the voice actor for Bosco because... It was technically a white guy voicing a black character, and they had to change that. Where is this Lilliputian agitator? Are you blind? He's right there! Yowzers, that is one <laughs> ugly ki Hey, I know him! Oh, that's right. It's one of the lovable scamps from that 70s TV show about the singing soda jerks. The soda poppers! Isn't he the one with the bladder control issues? Yeah, Wizard! <laughs> He's a former child star? Oh, oh, just lock him up and throw away the jail. Throw away the jail. <laughs> exactly what is the nature of Wizard's malfeasance? He's delivering videos I didn't even order. Brady Culture's eyeball? What is that? Oh, it's something bad, I can tell you that. Videos. And look at that display. It's subversive and hideous. I don't know any white guy with a fro like that. I hear that. Any idea why a freakish relic of the 70s would unload videos in your store? Think about it. No individual acting alone would ever deliver videos of his own volition. It, it makes no sense. I smell a conspiracy. I think you're just catching the hot weenies in an updraft. <laughs> no, it's definitely a conspiracy. It's gonna be weird to get used to that voice, because I'm so used to the old one. <laughs> it's the latest in Bosco Tech innovation. It'll clear out a room of militant college students in no time. Guaranteed. I feel really close to you right now. What sort of malevolent forces would conspire to burden you with unwanted video cassettes? Oh, they've all got it in for me. The government, the media, the mafia, aliens, sentient computers, my mother, Niels Bohr, Switzerland, headlights, lint, pastrami. <laughs> Hairspray. Stop Tell right there! Hairspray had no part in this. <laughs> oh, sure. That's what you'd like to believe. <laughs> because he's bald. The joke. <laughs> we'll just sit here and chill for a bit. <laughs> Have you actually witnessed this Ivo video with your own eyes? Only a fool would watch a strange video. You watch it. I might. <laughs> Any other heinous terrorist activities to report? Yes. He keeps using my bathroom. Who knows what he's doing in there? I think I know. So, we've got an unwanted video dumper and serial leak taker. <laughs> Not even the National Guard can help us now. He be pissing. So all this wizard character's doing is delivering videos. And abusing his bathroom privileges. That's it? Did he steal any of your overpriced merchandise, or at least try to disembowel you with a sharpened spork? No way! I've got BTADS, the single most technologically advanced security system ever conceived by the human mind. I remember BTADS. <laughs> BTADS? What is, is BTADS? Is that one of those acronym things I've been hearing so much about? Yep, Bosco Tech Automated Defense System. I made it myself. Wow, I always wanted to automate my defense. How does it work? Well, just pull a weapon, you'll see. Or try to walk out of here with something. Go ahead. I dare you. Maybe we will! I'ma try that. At the risk of sounding callous, how come your fancy pants defense system can't even stop small bladder boy over here? It was designed to keep people from taking stuff out of the store, not from bringing it in! All right. A rare case of reverse shoplifting. Tap <laughs> dropping? Hmm, yeah, I suppose so. Huh. I think we got it. One of us needs to take a couple dozen elephant tranquilizers and call it a day. 
and you should take a few yourself. <laughs> How can I be calm with the Munchkin terrorists in my store? I think we got it. Okay, anything else? Nice place you got here. What's so nice about it? Bosco's Inconvenience. Nice name. It's true. It really is inconvenient. Well, thanks. I try. How do you get out of that cage anyway? Uh, that's for me to know and you never to find out. Okay. <laughs> What's with the maximum security prison motif? You've been robbed as many times as I have. You do the same. I've never been robbed, actually, but then I typically point a large firearm at anyone who approaches me. You crack me up, little buddy. That's his catchphrase. You crack me up, little buddy. <laughs> Nothing else nice. What were we talking about? Oh, here's a here's a fun string of dialogue here. The we want to buy something. We'd like to patronize your fine establishment, my good man. By patronize you, he means we want to buy stuff from you, not mock you. We probably will mock you, but that's not what he meant. I know what he meant. Don't patronize me. <laughs> so, what do you want to buy? Do you have any weasels on a stick? Nope. Do you have any two-handed broadswords? Nope. Do you have any vegetables in the shape of famous naturalists? Nope. Do you have any candy pink fat boys? Nope. Do you have any exiled political dissidents? Nope. Do you have any weapons of mass destruction? Who's asking? <laughs> the build-up. Do you have any... Hmm, I've run out of ideas. Well, you can always just start over again. Good idea. <laughs> yeah, and it will start over. Every episode has one of those strings of... Do you have any... And it's... <laughs> what do you have, though? What have you got? Well, I I've still got that big sale on cheese. Oh, yeah, cheese! I want that! And I might have another item of interest behind the counter. What's behind the counter? I accept your thinly veiled invitation to ask about the item behind the counter. Oh, it's just a little something. I like to call a tear gas grenade launcher. Tear gas grenade launcher? Oh yeah, I really want that! Well, it's the latest in Bosco Tech innovation. It'll clear out any room in no time guarantee. I feel really close to you right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. It's the tear gas. My hand hit the table as I said that. We'd like that tear gas grenade launcher. That'll be ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand bucks? We'll have to give out like a million tickets. Or one really big one. You mean? White collar crime drive. Where corporate criminals go to rejoice in their ill-gotten gains. After we blow this popsicle stand, we can go hunt us up one of those starchy cesspiles and hit them where it hurts the most. Right in the pocketbook. That's not what I thought you were going to say, but that's good too. Yeah, since they're cops, they can give out tickets. The cheese, please. We'll take that cheese that's just been sitting out in the open for everyone to touch. I can't scan <laughs> it from way back here. You've got to bring it to the counter so I can ring it up. Do we have to do everything around here? All right. What have you got? Well, I I've still got that big sale on cheese. Oh, yeah, cheese. I want that. And I have a tear gas grenade launcher with your name on it. A personalized grenade launcher? You know that's been a dream of mine, Sam. I know, little buddy. You talk about it in your sleep. <laughs> All right, we're out. Nothing for us right now. Okay. We'll chat more later, Bosco, but right now it's time to get up close and personal with that pint-sized evildoer. Stop that crazy man before he kills us all! <laughs> He's fast as hell. It cuts to... I like how Max started running out of nowhere. Well, it is on special. And we are running dangerously low. On cheese, what a... The magazine. What do we have here? Organ Trader? Self-loathing weekly? Oh, let me see that! Hot bunny. The clock. It only has one hand. Is that clock correct? Well, it's only got one hand, so probably not. No thanks. I brought my lunch today. Hot weenies. Look, Sam. Mr. Hot Weenie's eating a hot weenie. 
This rampant weenie cannibalism turns my stomach. Ibo. Free videos? Don't mind if I do. Brady Culture's Ibo for ocular fitness. The revolutionary isometric exercise. What's so revolutionary about it? See through walls and clothing, roll your eyes at lightning speed, lose five pounds of eyeball fat. Oh good, I can never seem to lose that last five pounds. What do you say we start office movie night a little early today? I'll bring the caramel coated sugar logs. All right, we should probably talk to this guy. But I want to look at everything. Everything is clickable. I'm holding down T and look at all these things I can click on. What's that? Camera. Nothing like a gaggle of security cameras pointed at a guy to make him feel at home. I'm comfortable with it because I'm uncommonly photogenic. <laughs> True. Oh yeah, I never pointed out that uh, a few people have pointed out that my profile picture is Max from this game, from the 2006 game. So shout out to people. <laughs> shout out to people who pointed that out. <laughs> I guess. Hey there, Mr. Wizard. No need to be formal. My friends just call me Wizard. And so do my enemies, and lots of people like you I've never met. Everyone calls me Wizard. Everyone loves your show. My cousin's wife's dentist loved your show. <laughs> oh yeah, we've always been a big hit with the dentists. Gee, I wonder why. Hey kids, guzzle soda like the soda poppers, and you'll need so much expensive dental work, you can kiss college goodbye. Max, your unbridled cynicism is like a breath of fresh air on a crowded subway. Any chance we could get you to sing the song from your old show? Yeah, the theme song. What was it called? It was called More Than Jerks. But I can't sing it. I'm too embarrassed. How about an autograph for my pal, Max? You could write, To Max, thanks for saving my life that time in San Remo. Gee, I don't really have time. I've got a lot more videos to deliver. No time? Don't they give you bathroom breaks? <laughs> Sure, but I don't sign autographs in there anymore. There was an incident. Did he piss on the autograph? Didn't I see you on a TV commercial a while back? Yeah, what was it? Bowl cleanser, adult diapers, erectile dysfunction? <laughs> All three! <laughs> okay. Are you anything like the character you played on the TV show? Yeah, like do you really have to hit the John every five minutes? Sometimes every three minutes. It's like having a superpower. Should get that checked out. Well, that's nice. What is? What are you doing here? What exactly are you doing here? Delivering videos. Take one. They're free. About those. What's the story with these videos? Brady Culture's Ibo is the ocular fitness regimen for people on the go. Who is Brady Culture? Who exactly is this Brady Culture fellow supposed to be? And what kind of steroids does he use on his hair? Brady Culture is a genius, and his Ibo program is a boon to all mankind. Ooh, a boon! Why don't people use that word more often? <laughs> and did you know he was the star of Culture's Clubhouse in 1970? Fascinating. It's a child star bonanza. What can you tell me about Ibo? Ibo is a revolutionary new program of isometric exercises to promote ocular fitness. We just read this. You can learn to move objects with your eyes, even see through walls we and just read clothing. This. What if I don't wear clothing? You gotta watch this tape. It changed my life. Just avoid the question. <laughs> don't these things usually have celebrity endorsements? What am I, chopped liver? Oh, right. Sorry. <laughs> the soda poppers are celebrities. Did Bosco actually order this many videos? How should I know? And did I mention they're free? What, you just deliver them whether people order them or not? The word must be spread. Ibo is the path to enlightenment. And ocular fitness. Hmm. Seems like a cult. This seems like a cult. Well, that's nice. What is? Are you aware that you're breaking the law? Come on, guys! There's no law against giving away free stuff! Unlawful deliveries are punishable under Section 9, Article 7, Title 11 of the Personal, Private, Public, Professional Conduct Penal Code. You made that up. True, but we <laughs> could write him up for littering, trespassing, and disturbing the peace. I have to deliver these videos. Boy, what a monotonoid! Can we arrest him now? In a minute, little buddy. You're under arrest. Put your hands on your head. You're under arrest. 
Aw, oh, come on. It's a free country. The snarl. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who told you that? This guy's suffering from some pretty severe delusions. It's a free country. Seriously now, you're under arrest. Come on, you don't have to make a federal case out of it. No, we don't have to. We want to. See you later. If you'll excuse us, we've got shopping to do. Take a copy of the Ibo video while you're at it. It will change your life. We got one, thanks. Okay, we're gonna look at everything else now. Ketchup, mustard, and purple stuff. As vaguely referred to on TV. <laughs> it's the reference. We got punch, OJ, purple stuff. <laughs> Say Max. I am not getting in that thing again. It took me weeks to get the fishy smell out of my fur. Children preserved fluids. I wonder if Bosco used the fluid sample I submitted. I hope not. <laughs> Public restrooms. Unholy temples to all things unsanitary. I wouldn't go in there for all the TNT landia. I'll do it! Uh oh! Time out for number one! Looks like he opened his floodgates. I hope he enjoys it as much as I did. Okay, so the bathroom activates him to leave so we can put the cheat. Oh. Not Joe's. They're mine, not Joe's. Hell yeah, dude. Max, I've got a great idea involving you, a microwave, and six feet of aluminum foil. Go on. Maybe another time. Now what were you going to say? I think it's the tinge of green that makes this coffee especially appealing. I take my coffee green, like my men! Sorry, what? <laughs> Sludgies. With 100% all-natural sludge! This week's flavors, wheatgrass and meatloaf. Alright, uh... Oh, I took the cheese already. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna laugh every time. It's too good! Oh, fun! Uh-oh! Time out for number one! And then, and then, and then, we put the cheese in the dam. If you really love someone, give them the gift of cheese. Ooh, I just can't wait to see the look on his face when he gets it! Look at this. What the? Time out for number one! We're saved! That's a whole lot more entertaining when it's not happening to me. It's pretty entertaining either way. <laughs> oh, he wet his widow pants. <laughs> Classic. Just classic. I mean, wait, my evil plan is being threatened. Good thing I have the other two twerps to handle it. Mwahahaha! Uh, it's still not quite right. Uh. Hey, you just gonna leave him there? Uh. It's the evil mastermind. Hello, wizard. I don't want to wake him up. Content. Special. Buy one, get one. What a deal! Whee! Nothing like a gaggle of security cameras pointed at a guy to make him feel at home.